guys, the girl Jolly here and I'm back with another video. <laughs> Don't ask me where the word came from, but I felt it. Okay, now, first I want to start this video off by saying thank you guys so, so, so much for the overwhelming love on the 10 things not to do with your locks video and I will link it in the description bar if you're under a rock and you haven't seen it. Thank you guys so much for sharing it. I really, really, really appreciate the love. It's one of my most viewed videos. I really thank you guys for pumping that video out. Now, because a lot of people seen that video and had questions and concerns, I get a lot of questions in that video and she's too lazy to type. I mean, I was typing at first, but it became overwhelming. So I decided to make a video and answer all the questions Okay, when I say all, I mean as much as I can in this video to get through so that I don't have to type as much and hopefully answer your questions and you can see me. I can be in more depth because I feel like typing, I'm lazy, so I just type the beer necessities, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and start and so we can get through as much as we can. Now, thank you guys for all the comments that you left. There's a bunch of you that said thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the overwhelming love. There's someone on here that said they've been using beeswax for years. If that works for you, that is cute for you, boo, but beeswax is never going to work for the masses. And when I'm talking about locks, I'm talking about in general. All right, so the first question is from Bridget. It says, hey, Jalicia, when you say no covering your hair when it's damp or wet, does that include deep does that include deep conditioning? Sometimes I deep condition my hair overnight. Is that bad? Hey Bridget! No, deep conditioning does not count because there are a few people that put bags over their head and deep condition overnight. That's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about deep conditioning overnight, taking the bag off the next day and leaving it air dry just like that and thinking it's not going to have a smell. When I say no covering your hair, I mean to let it dry. You, you definitely want air to be able to circulate through whatever you put on your hair. Some people put nets on, some people put very light scarf. It just depends on what works for you, but I wasn't talking about deep conditioning because it's best to cover your hair while doing so. Okay. Taisha Brooks says, I feel like we should be friends. We are friends, girl. We're friends in each other's heads. Hey, boo, hey. Some of these I haven't even read yet because I just have not had the time to go through these questions. Tiffany, hey boo, she asks, would you recommend lightly spraying your hair daily with a water oil combo? Uh, I wouldn't say I recommend it, but I also wouldn't say I don't recommend it. It just depends if a water oil mix works for you. It doesn't necessarily work for my hair. Water doesn't moisturize my hair like it does some people. I can't spray my hair with water and feel like it comes back to life. I have to put something in it. Um, it just never worked like that. I think it's a it has something to do with my hair texture. But if that works for you, I'm not opposed to that, especially if you're misting. As long as it's not saturated and has to dry from sopping wet, I'm okay with it. Hope says she's 45 minutes from me and Covington. Come down, girl, get your hair done, come down. Now, Delisha says, hey girl, she says her aunt's a hairstylist and she wants to start using Maury's beeswax. What could happen to it? Somebody else coming to telling her the first ingredient in Maury's is petroleum. Petroleum is another thing that I'm like, yikes for. Just like Jamaican mango and lime, they don't have a lot of beeswax in it, but it has a lot of petroleum, which to me is the same damn thing. Same damn thing. Now, Strefan says, how do you make your hair grow before locks? Like what? I'm assuming he wants to know what to use. Uh, there's no miracle drug, oil, pill, or anything that will make your hair grow. Hairfinity, everyone's going crazy about. In my opinion, it's just helping you retain the hair that you normally lose. Now, with locks, your hair can grow a lot easier because we're not losing any hair. All of our dead hair is going inside our locks to make the sponge effect. So, I think by keeping your hair nice and clean and healthy, drinking lots of water, which I am guilty of not doing, which is why my hair tends to look dull a lot. And oiling it and having a good regimen, that's how you keep your hair healthy so that it can grow. But hair grows regardless. Cheryl W asks, is it possible to start dreads using the safety pin method? Um, when you say safety pin, I'm assuming you're speaking about my video where I say interlocking. Yes, you can start your hair interlocking, but be very careful because interlocking has to be done right or else your locks will be deformed and or have holes in them 
and you also want to be mindful of the fact that you're kind of going to look like Hellraiser because it's going to look like a bunch of little braids. So just as long as you're okay with that, then yes, you definitely can start your hair with the safety pin method. Marika Hey Girl was asking, um, have I done videos for starter locks and any tips as I am biracial and have mixed hair? Um, yes, I have videos on starter locks. You definitely want to look into that. But everything that I talk about with locks can be incorporated whether you have locks for 20 years or you have locks for 20 minutes. So I definitely don't specifically split them up because I feel like knowledge is knowledge. As far as biracial, you, as long as you know how your hair works, my only tip for you is don't be fooled by people saying that your hair will not lock and don't be brought into the hype of the fact that you need beeswax and or petroleum drilly in order for your hair to stick because none of those are true. Go to someone that you trust and you have seen their work and you know for a fact can handle your hair and get, get it done. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody commented, is you and Ray alive over there in honeymoon land? <laughs> Girl, so much stuff has happened. It's not just honeymoon. but we, We've been honeymooning, but it's not just that. They say they need some love and hip hop chit chat. I haven't made love and hip hop videos since I don't know when because I'm over it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm still watching. <laughs> but I'm over it, kind of. So, maybe I'll do one for the reunion. Money says that they've been growing their hair for seven years now. Tavia, hey boo. And she says that her locks stay dry and she hasn't found a product that she likes. Um, she's been using Talia Wajid. Would I recommend this line? I absolutely would not. There are a lot of lock lockers that love their products. The only thing that I love is their African healing oil. Other than that, their gels have no hold. They don't condition the locks. Damien loves it, but I... He loves it because he's putting all the moisture in with his spray. He's not rel relying on the bottle. If you're just relying on the container, no. Mm -mm. I'm in love right now with Cantu products. I also would recommend using Eco Styler in a crunch. But Talia, would you? Uh uh. I wouldn't use it. Someone says, I live in San Diego. Where can I make an appointment with you? <laughs> well, first, you can go ahead and get on Southwest, I think, or Delta and fly to Georgia, and then you can make an appointment with me. Clarinda. <laughs> I'd love to have you though, but that was super cute. Someone says my locks are long and full. Do you curl more than one lock together? I typically curl more than one of my locks together because I have a lot of tiny locks. So yeah. Um, the only time I would ever consider just using one lock per curler is if I'm doing pipe cleaners. And that's happened one time in my entire lock life. <laughs> it's just too much hair. Alright, so Alfonso has a bunch of questions, but the main question is I was just wondering if you know that if you know if you can interlock and then palm roll the dreads or should I stick with one method or the other? Or do one for a few months and then transition? This is actually a great question, Alfonso, because a lot of people think that if you start one way you have to keep it that way. And no, absolutely not. As long as you're aware of the changes that e each method does then yes now if you're interlocking now let me start by saying this any method of locking that you do you should be palm rolling the hair palm rolling is what helps the lock get its cylinder shape and helps the fuzz train to do that so if you're having a frizz issue and you feel like your hair has been locked for anything over seven months and your frizz is really out of control, you need to be palm rolling. If your loctician is not palm rolling, girl, what's she doing? Okay, yes, you have to palm roll. So even if I interlock my clients, I palm roll the shaft. When I retwist them, I palm roll the shaft. Even when I have those clients that may start with, a, with braids and or twists, I palm roll them after the second or third retwist because at that time, that's when the frizz starts and you want to get it in there. So, yes, you need to be palm rolling your hair at any cost. Now, since we're, we're on this topic, I interlocked the last four rows in the back of my hair. I don't know if you guys have seen the video where I talked about that, but yes, I do. I retwist the top and interlock the back because the texture in the back of my hair is a lot different and the retwists don't stay. So if I can do it in just one head two ways, then absolutely I have clients that want to retwist and then sometimes they want to interlock. As long as me and the loctician that's doing it makes you aware of the way it's going to look visually, 
that's going to be the difference, then yes, that's fine. You definitely can. But you just want to be sure what you're doing and what you're going to get while doing that effect. I hope that helps. Beverly Hay says, hey beautiful young lady, why don't you like Revlon? I didn't know they owned Cream of Nature. Yeah, they do, and if you Google it online, you'll see that they own quite a few product lines. The reason why I don't like Revlon is only, and specifically because the owner made a statement saying that black people are greasy and we smell, and blah, 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 blah. And you definitely can Google it as well. I understand he was French and drunk, but I'm not spending my money with you if that's how you ultimately feel about me. All right, I think I have enough time for one more question. Let's see. Okay, this is a good one. Let me discuss Ariel Fitzgerald. I'm going to read her entire comment because I want you to hear it. Just a response to the beeswax. I've been using beeswax in my hair since my locks were about four months old. I'm two and a half years now. And I use it because I do need the hold. I don't like to interlock too often. And when melted down or used in a small amount, my hair is still soft, not hard, and it's easily washed out. Just a personal testimony. P.S. There are also black gels with no alcohol in them. Okay, now Ariel, first thing I'm going to say, hey girl, hey. And I'm actually so glad that beeswax works for you. But I'm going to say this. I'm pretty sure your hair doesn't feel like my hair. So your level of soft and my level of soft is totally different. My hair still feels like hair. And if you're using a little bit, then the buildup is concentrated to the little bulbs and where you retwist. And or you don't have that problem great but again I'm talking to the masses and it's been proven by not just me that beeswax is not washing out like a regular product would so yeah a couple pieces may go down the drain and I completely see where you're coming from you might even use a clarifying shampoo which you didn't specify whether you do ACV rinses because that might be the reason why you think the beeswax is washing out and or you're using a clarifying shampoo which is helping you scrub it out but I can guarantee you your hair and my hair is not the same soft and it's because of what you're using now it's working for you because you need the hold that's fine but I'm telling you and I'm pretty sure you can find another product that doesn't stay in your hair that long without using beeswax and it will give you the same hold but again if, if it works for you it works for you I'm not here to tell you what to use and what not to use I'm just telling you my opinion on it and I see a lot more hair textures than just one you're dealing with your texture all the time I'm dealing with a mass of texture so I have to be specific on who I'm talking to when I talk to them about what I'm talking about okay and in reference to your comments about black gel there's a bunch of black gels that don't have alcohol in them but you know specifically well what black gel I was talking about and that is pro style so let's be clear let's not tit for tat let's stay on topic and deal with what I was discussing okay but I love you and thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay. So that was the last question. I want to thank you guys so much for all the questions you left on the video. And thank you so much for liking it, sharing it, giving it to your friends. One girl said her mama told her you need to watch this. So thank you guys so much for the love. I really appreciate it. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them either in the comment section or in the link for that video that will also be in the below box. If you have any questions in reference to my hair, there's a whole video coming up just specifically about that. So answer all your questions as to what's going on in that video. And if it's available, I will link it down below as well. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out. And you guys already know Side Eye to Lion for all the squeaking and the scratching and the foolishness in the back. Mm -hmm. You already know.